boy, look at those marsh grass. All right, I gotta collect me some of that. I'm, oops, there's someone up there. You're probably wondering, what is that freak doing down there? No, it doesn't even look like she's interested. I think we're gonna be all right on this one. She doesn't care. She's in a world of her own. Oh boy, what do, what do I have to cut it with? Oh, that one nice, too small. Maybe we'll just try to use this little saw here. That'll probably work. Wait for the car to go by. Wait for them to go around the corner. Oh, look at that. Big and beautiful. That's nice. Very nice. Looks pretty good. Works very good. Yeah, what are you looking at? Some people. Uh, that should be enough for now. Alright, we're just gonna throw these. Oh, right down here for now. Aw, uh, oh, it's beautiful. I was using my new purple hand axe. Oh man. I cut down a red alder tree. I can see why the handle was invented. Man, my hand just ached for days and days afterwards. Maybe they were just a little bit tougher than I am. Hmm, perhaps. So I'd like to make a nice little sheath for my agate knife out of the swamp grass. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna separate out all of the imperfect, discolored, odd pieces. I don't need those. Oops. One of my problems is I collect a lot of materials, but there's only so many hours in the day. Even though I'm collecting these, I might never get around to actually making something out of them. Of course, to me, half the fun is collecting the stuff. We've been provided with such an abundance of materials here. What a mess. Oh, well. And that, my friend, is the best place in the world to dry your primitive plant materials. A while back, I noticed some western red cedar bark on the road. Ran over multiple times to the point where it was actually processed as fine as any bark that I would process on my own. So I have a plan. What I did is I grabbed some uh, cedar bark from home. And we're going to throw it in the road. We're going to let cars process my cedar bark for me. This is our pre-processed bark. And I'll keep you updated on the progress of our uh, cedar bark shredding experimente. Alright, I never did show you in the daylight what I had cut. Interessante. I mean, it kind of worked, but it peeled off too much because there's a dead layer right there. I didn't realize that this whole limb is dead. But I guess you could use it, I mean, if you had to. See, I should have chopped it deeper into there so we would have had a thicker section off of there instead of this little thin thing. Oh well. Man, I'm getting hungry. How about you? I'm hungry too. Have you checked to see if the hot dog trees are in, in bloom yet? 
No. Why don't you go do that? I thought I saw some hot dog trees right over there. Look, the hot dog trees are in bloom. Oh, look. There's one way up there. There's another one. And two up right oh, there. Oh, look. Go pick some. Nice, and they're ripe too. Look, there's one way up there. How are we gonna get it down? Oh, that is a good, juicy, plump one. You gonna need some help? Yes, please. Alright, you ready? Oh, I hope it doesn't fall off. Ah. There you go. Pick it off. Oh, that is a nice one. Seems like the best ones grow way up high. Two for me and two for you. What a bountiful harvest this year. They look really nice. 